Hello everyone. So now we are going to do the EAGRP lab in the packet tracer. Okay. So let's do. I will take two router, two eight double one. Let me take one router here, one router here, and I will take the two switch two nine six zero. One is here, one is here, and I will take some client PC. I will take two PC here and two PC here. Imagine we have head office and branch office. We need to make the connectivity between them by using the EIGRP. Okay, and we are having the Cisco device, so we are planning to use the EIGRP. We can use OSPF also, but no issue. We will learn here how we can configure the EIGRP. So let me write down here the IP schema also. First of all, let me give the label here R1, and this is a R2. You can give the name head office, branch office like that. And I will give the IP schema here 192.168.12.0 slash 24. Okay, and this site I will write here 192.168.1.1 slash 24. This will be the gateway for our machine. This site, and I will give here 192.168.2.1 slash 24. This will be the gateway for this machine. Okay, so what we can do now? This way, like this, we can assign here. So let's do the configuration. First of all, let me put the IP schema label here so we can easily observe what IP we plan to give here. 192.168.1.2. So let me assign to this machine. I will go to desktop. I will put here. I will write here. 1.1 will be the gateway. Okay, 1.1 will be gateway because we need to put the gateway as a router interface IP. So this is a router interface IP. Now I will go here. I will give this one as a 1.3. I will copy. I will paste this inside this machine. Okay, and the gateway, as we told, gateway will be 1.1. So computer IP finish. Let me give here also. I will give here 192.168.2.2. This is a label. Let me assign to the computer. I will go inside. I will assign here. When the gateway should be 2.1. Router interface IP. Here also I will do 2.3. And let me copy and. paste here and the gateway should be 2.1 okay so now we need to do the configuration to the router let me move this topology here little uh, right hand side let me take the router uh, cli i taken the router cli now okay and now if you see this is brand new router we need to configure i first we need to write no after that we will write enable then we will write config t then i will change the host name of the router as a r1 then we need to assign the ip address so if you see here we have the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so this side we should use 192.168.12.1 and here we are going to use for this r2 router fast ethernet 0 by 0 192.168.12.2 okay so let me write here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 I log in to this interface now. I am going to assign the IP address. I will write IP address 192.168.12.1. Then give 255.255.255.0. I will write no shut here. So just I assign the IP to this interface. Now I need to assign the IP to this interface. So I will write here interface was Ethernet 0 by 1. IP address. I will write 192.168.1.1. Give space 255.255.255.0, and we will write here no shut. So we assign the IP to the both the interface. After that, we need to configure the EIGRP. So we need to write router EIGRP, and you need to write the AS number. We can give any AS number from 1 to 65535. From this range, we can give any number. But you need to remember whatever AS number you are giving here. Here. You need to give here also same AS number. If you have one more router in between, or if you connect new router, all should have the same AS number. If the AS number is different, then EIGRP is not going to work. Whereas in the OSPF, we are writing the process ID as a different number, and it is working, no issue. But now you need to remember in the EIGRP AS number that is autonomous system should be same. Okay, autonomous system should be same in the what we can say. in the eigrp so uh, take any number i will take one okay we write router eigrp one then we need to write network and give the network id we need to give the network id what is the network id of this one 192.168.12.1 how we can calculate the network id 
we will write example this is ip 192.168.12.1 this is a class c slash 24 means class c that is a network 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 and host so wherever we have host we will make zero so network id will be 192.168.12.0 this is a network id so we will write the network id here so i will write here 192.168.12.0 then we need to write the wildcard mask wildcard mask is the opposite of subnet mask if you remember slash 24 is nothing but 255.255.255.0 and how we can write 0.0.0.255 okay this we need to write here in this place okay so let me write down here i will write here 0.0.0.255 and now we need to define this also just now we finish here now we need to do this one also so same thing here what i will do i will change this as a 192.168.1.0 if you see this is a network id what is the network id of this ip 192.168.1.0 and the wildcard mask will be same okay this way we configure the eigrp to this side and if you are using the old version router then we will write no auto summary but nowadays new router who is having the software version as 15 or above 15 they are getting no, uh, no auto summary is disabled in that one let me repeat what i want to say you that if we are using the old version router then we need to write no auto summary because eagrp is doing auto summary automatically so we will write that one no auto summary if we are using old router or less than 15 if we are using greater than 15 then no need to write so in the packet tracer or routers are above 15 version so no need to write here no auto summary okay let me save now and if you want i will show you show ip protocol and press here if you see here this one auto summarization is disabled why it is disabled because this is a new router if you want to check right show version you will see what is the version of this router this one 15.1 so 15 and above 15 whatever routers are coming they are having the auto summarization is disable if you see this one so no need to write no auto summarization okay so in this router the eigrp configuration is done for r1 now we are going to r2 and let's assign the ip address then configure the eigrp so i will write here no and then i will write here enable config t host name is r2 and then i will write here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write ip address 192.168.12.2255.255.255.0 and no shut here and then we have another interface this is another interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 so i will write here interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 ip address what is ip 192.168.2.1 255.255.255.0 and we will write here no shut okay and after that if you want to configure the eigrp right router eigrp and here pro as number we need to give same we give there one so here should be one and then network and whatever the network id 192.168.12.0 and the wildcard mask 0.0.255 same what we give there same thing here we need to give okay and this should be 2. Zero. This should be two dot zero. If you see here, this one one ninety two one sixty two dot zero will be a network ID. Do this one. After that, save the configuration, and then you write show IP root. You will have the root from the EAGRP. If you see this D is nothing but EAGRP. If you see here, code D is representing as a EAGRP. So, or let me write like this: show IP root EAGRP. So this one is the root we are getting. I am here in the R two. if anyone want to go to 192.168.1.0 network means here they need to forward the traffic to this okay and if you see this is the ad value is 90 and this is a matrix whatever the matrix we have here later we are going to check how we can calculate the matrix this is the time from this much time this root come up and this is the leaving interface this one okay so now we have the root so our machine can communicate if you want to ping 1.2.2 you can ping now so let me go here i am here 192.168.1.3 is my ip 
I am going to communicate with 192.168.2.2. So I will write here ping 192.168.2.2. Okay. Let's see. It should work because all routes are everything is ready. It should work. Yeah. First packet drop because of the ARP. After that, it is working perfectly. So our lab done successfully. Okay. If you have any question, any doubts, let us know right in the chat box. Okay. Thank you. Bye.